Hi guys, welcome to Chuck's Corner. This is an interesting video. I think you'll get a kick out of this. Let me get a quick drink of coffee. This is called Pop-Up Magic. Now what the heck am I talking about? I want to touch base on something. I guess it kind of has to do with magic. It's an interesting art. It's a lost art of pop-up books. Now we've all had them when we were kids. There's different pop-up books, different things you pull and things happen. There's dowels that you turn. There's like interactive books some great stuff this is a few things i've accumulated throughout the years all right these are probably over 20 years old this is pretty neat the book of phobias now phobia has always appealed to me uh this is dentophobia i'll show you the first one we all have a fear of the dentist look at that <laughs> i mean he has a uh, hypodermic needle this is aerophobia the fear of flying i love that little sick uh mask that drops down the the oxygen thing and it's it really really unusual all right let me turn to the next one here now i kind of i'm rotating this around because i want you to get the full effect i mean there's a lot of thought that goes into this stuff when i do this believe it or not uh ophidophobia which is the fear of reptiles look at that snakes everywhere really really cool okay uh claustrophobia which I didn't realize I had this until recently. Yeah. Everybody suffers some form of claustrophobia. You know, I mean, it's just a, it's just a horrible thing. Uh, oh, this is neat here. Misophobia, which is the fear of diseased substances. Yeah. Now look at this. Everybody has a fear Ooh. of a filthy toilet. <laughs> I mean, that's just the thing. You know, even when I was a kid, I didn't want to sit anywhere near anything like that. Uh, let's see what we have here. This is called, oh, this is an uh, unusual one here. This is called uh, the fear of public speaking. And believe it or not, one out of, is it one out of five people have it, I believe. And it's, it's to the point where people are so terrified of public speaking that they'd rather die. I mean, that's pretty bad. Arachnophobia. I hate spiders. I have to. I have to admit. I. <laughs> I just do not like them. Okay. Let's see. What we have here. The fear of heights. Now I gotta admit, heights terrify me. Mm -hmm. I do not like them at all. This is something here you'll get a kick out of. The fear of clowns. Oh my. And it does have a name. Let's see if I can find this here. Uh, coldrophobia. I hate to say I have every one of those. <laughs> clowns always scare. Look. Look. He even has a lollipop. I mean that's. Clowns always scared the crap out of me. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why. And here we go. Necrophobia, the fear of death. Okay. And there's another fear of people uh, were afraid of being buried alive many years ago. They actually had the bell. There was a little bell in case you, because you weren't embalmed years ago. And you would pull the string and it was just unbelievable. All right. Alfred Hitchcock is one of my favorite authors, directors, what have you. Here's a few of his movies. These will flip you out. Okay, here we have Saboteur. Very, very old flick. Okay, I love the graphics. The, look, look at this here. Oh my goodness, Psycho. That is just unbelievable. Here, I'll reopen this again. Look, she, you even have Mrs. Bates up here in the corner. <laughs> look at that. Yeah. And her head will pop up. All right, that's some, these, these I bought years ago. Look at this. This is uh, Marnie. And that was with... Uh, Oh, I forget her name now. She's still she's still alive too. Uh, oh, her her mother uh, her daughter is Melanie Griffith. So if, if that rings a bell to you, but I can't remember the woman's name right now. Very very cool. Most of his flicks were really unbelievable. Uh, there you go. Look at this. Really neat. There was one I think I skipped in here. We just seen it too. Which one? This is. Uh, Torn yeah, torn curtain. There's a there's something I skipped here. This no, we just saw it too, vertigo? Sherry. Yeah, vertigo. Where the heck is it? Oh, is this it? That's the birds. That's the birds. Yeah, this is the one. the one. Yeah, this is the one with Melanie Griffith's mother, and I can't think of her name right now. I thought there was vertigo in here for some reason. There oh, there is. you go. For, I love I'm this busy. here. Busy. Yeah, we actually saw. We watched it again just about a week ago. Yeah. Vertigo. Look at Hitchcock's head popping up. <laughs> really cool 
So that's an example of some of the really cool books. Here's something that this is probably over 20 years old. Weird things that happen with Hollywood stars. And we'll go piece by piece here. Let's see. This is, uh, oh, this is Janet Jackson and uh, Justin, is it Justin Bieber? They, they were on stage at the Super Bowl singing. And there was a, there was a malfunction. Remember her bra, her bra came loose. So they did a pop-up book of unusual things that happened. Oh, this is when, this is when Tom Cruise was on the Oprah show about 20 years ago, jumping around on a couch saying how much he loves uh, Katie Holmes. Oh. And yeah, and oh, this is kind of neat here. Russell Crowe threw a cell phone at a worker at a hotel. Oh and he, he was so mad at something, I don't know. And he, he, there was a big dispute about that. Uh, oh, here we have uh, supermodel uh, Kate Moss mm. caught doing some bad stuff. Uh, oh, Michael Jackson dangling his baby over the I crowd. That. that was in Germany oh, <laughs> many years ago. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is uh, Hugh Grant and the Divine Miss M. He was with a prostitute. Yeah, let's see what we got here. Oh, oh, this is a funny one here. This is Winona Ryder. Yeah. Apparently, she's a kleptomaniac. She oh. she went into uh, she went into a store in Beverly Hills and stole like five thousand dollars worth of stuff. I mean, I just don't get it. But oh, Mike Tyson, Evander Holyfield, he bit his ear off. Bit his ear off. Yeah, what's for dessert, huh? All right. But this is an example of some of the cool things here. Oh, OJ's. Uh, you know, when he was first accused of what he did, he he went into the white Bronco and he and he drove. Look at the helicopter floating. Really, really cool. Open it back up. We may have one more. I don't know. Let's see. Oh yeah, Paris Hilton made a porn video, and and she was even talking on the phone, boy. So uh, she was really into it. But <laughs> it's all it's all crazy nonsense. But yes. but just to give you an idea. Some of the cool things as a lost art. The first pop-up book, which I did look up, was 1855. The first commercially sold pop-up book. Uh, it was Little Red Riding Hood, I believe. But these have been known to exist centuries. There was some form of another of pop-up books. But the first commercially sold one was 1855, I believe. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. Have a great day.